very careless. We became very prosperous. We were the freest country. We had great resources, and we did quite well. We had the largest middle class and the richest middle class. That is not true. The middle class is shrinking. It's not so rich anymore. A characteristic of the destruction of currency says that the middle class will shrink. You take, you take money and you transfer wealth from the poor and the middle class to the wealthy. That just with the destruction of currency that happens because whoever gets to spend the money first gets a benefit. The people who get it last, the people, they get they get the higher the higher prices. But just think how that was compounded with the bailouts. They had already benefited from the financial bubble and the speculation and the Fannie Mae's and the Freddie Macs and the Goldman Sachs. They were making bundles. Then the crisis comes and they say, Oh, there's going to be a depression. You've got to bail us out. We're too big to fail. And lo and behold. Well, but then there's another group who says, well, we understand economics. We should have free markets. We 
should have property rights in contracts, but we can't trust the people with their own lifestyle because they might do something dumb. Well, let me tell you, in a free society, you have the right to do dumb things. Sure. 
insurance. It's not like, I think our system's going to get worse before it gets better. The Soviet system collapsed. They were foolish enough to fight in Afghanistan, you know, a few other things. No, they, they collapsed. We didn't have to fight a war with, them, uh, with, with the Soviets. Uh, and, but when, when our collapse comes, or when we have to make changes, it's not like we have to invent this all over again. You know, we have a reasonably good constitution. It's just that we need to use it once in a while. So the system was there. We just drifted away from it. We lost our confidence. We lost our confidence.